Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. Oh my god, once again, it is totally not morning. I've just had, I've been sleeping. I basically, I'll tell you what I've done today, in fact. I wake up at 3 a.m., went for a shower, Jas made me a coffee, left the house at quarter past four. The Uber driver was late, he got lost trying to find our house. Went to the airport, had a 6.30 a.m. flight to Dublin, landed in Dublin at 7.30 a.m. Jas's driver, like he has a driver for work, um, was waiting for us and the hotel was luckily en route to Jas's work so I got in the car with Jas and his driver it's very fancy got to our hotel at 8 o'clock in the morning and I was thinking oh dear god what am I going to do till 3pm when I can check in because I was just so tired all I could think of was sleep and I knew that I didn't need a coffee I didn't want a coffee I'd already had two and I just knew that you know that wasn't gonna work i just needed to sleep i just don't know how jas does it honestly like every monday he goes straight to work after being up at a ridiculous hour he's gonna be shattered tonight but anyway i was shattered got to the hotel the lady was just so lovely i walked in and i was like oh my god this hotel is incredible i did take a few little clips i'll insert them here it is just stunning it's very like gothic and it's really like kind of eccentric a bit quirky really like deep purples everywhere it's really unusual design but oh my my god i wish you could smell stuff through the camera not everything but this as soon as i walked in i was just like it smells amazing and i had to ask her and she was like they've got these scent diffusers so whenever the door opens the whole room fills up and it basically smells like christmas they have like a little hot chocolate stand which is so cute you can like make your own hot chocolate and like pimp it with whipped cream marshmallows and candy canes but it contains milk <laughs> they have a little fruit bowl which has not just bananas and oranges it has apples and plums and something else instead they have a little water station around the corner a little tea and coffee area it's all very cute our room is a little little bit disappointing not gonna lie i kind of thought it'd be a bit bigger like i'm not complaining it's really nice i'm not paying for it so whatever i've been sleeping can you tell i literally just crashed the minute i set foot into this hotel but it's just smaller than all the other hotels Jas has stayed in because he sent me like photos of them um every week and he stayed in a different one all the time but they haven't been in the city centre he picked this hotel for me so I can't really complain because the other hotels he picked were like near his work which is about half an hour away and like how would I get around there's nothing to do there you know okay it's now 2 30 I haven't edited yesterday's video oh god um I have no idea if it'll upload here I haven't explored anything, I've just been sleeping. And do you know what? I'm not gonna prioritize my video today, I've decided, because tomorrow apparently it's raining all day and I wanna get out and kind of explore a little bit of Dublin while I can. And my video can wait, quite frankly. I can upload two on the following day if it's raining, but I'm in Dublin, I wanna make the most of it and I've already wasted half a day by sleeping. So I'm gonna head out. Also, of course I unpacked, like priorities. <laughs> I have all my makeup and like tech bits and pieces out. This week I am trying, all for the next four days, the only foundation I've brought with me is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. Bit risky because I only put it on for the first time yesterday and I think I really like it. So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to jump in at the deep end and pack this as my only foundation and hopefully it works. I didn't tell you guys but last week I took the Dior Backstage Foundation to Leicester. I only like to pack one foundation at a time and kind of rotate them so that's what I took to Leicester and I really liked it. I just, I liked it so much that it just felt like one of my everyday foundations and I forgot to tell you guys. This one is far too full coverage for me but do you know what I'm not hating this Charlotte Tilbury one I really like what it does to my face I've just put makeup on now I didn't have makeup on earlier but also let me just take a seat because I feel like I'm bombarding you with so much information oh I have really hurt my knee when I got onto the plane this morning I was in a bit of a rush I had a window seat and there was two women like or a woman and her kids sorry sat next to me and of course they got there before me so I had to ask them to like get out so I could get in and I don't like to be like an inconvenience. I was trying to rush and I end up twisting. I don't know what I, I don't know what I did. Like Ryanair is just so shit. There's like literally no space. Even if I was like a size zero, 
there's no way you can do like a little 360 between the seats it's ridiculous but I kind of went in backwards like like as if I was facing the seats and tried to turn around and I really twisted my knee like so much so that I like collapsed onto my seat and I was like oh I injured that knee years ago and um it used to really be painful so I used to wear heels all the time since I stopped wearing heels and in just previous years it's been completely fine but every so often if I do like too much walking or put on heels or something it will hurt and today it is so painful it feels like you know you're little or just immature and you're pranking your friends and when you're walking down the street and like you kick the back of their knee like behind their knee and they kind of buckle that's what keeps happening to me and I hope I don't fall over in the street so oh anyway I just get this hotel room and hopefully I don't fall over or injure myself further but I'm very excited to go and explore Dublin I keep hearing the Irish accent and I'm like yes I love it. <laughs> right, so my outfit for day one of exploring is basically this pink coat that I'm going to be buried in and spend the rest of my life in. Um, this oversized jumper. I basically travelled in this whole outfit, minus the jumper. I had a shirt on because airports are very hot places. But I think it's really cold outside. These are the trainers I'll be living in all week. And yeah, I mean, it's a very <laughs> riveting OOTD, but I thought I'd show you. So let's go. <laughs> wandering around for um, about an hour and a half I think. I normally hate having lunch on my own but I thought you know what I'm gonna have to do it so I did it today. I went to this cafe called Pog. It was very Instagrammable, very very cool but it's just started raining and I'm really tired. Oh god what have I done? Oh, that's fine. I've come back to the hotel. I think Jazz finishes work in about an hour and a half. I have no idea how he's getting back. So I'm going to sit down and start editing yesterday's video and get some work done. I didn't do much exploring today because obviously I spent most of the day sleeping. But I'm hoping tomorrow it doesn't actually rain all day so I can get out and actually explore. We're not staying too far from Trinity College but I kind of walked the wrong way around today so I didn't really see it. I, like I said I have been to Dublin before and I have been to Trinity College but it was way before I started my YouTube channel so I don't really remember. Um, so yeah. Hopefully I'll get some exploring done this week, but for now I'm just going to sit here and do some work, I think. He's back! <laughs> it's so dimly lit, I've got this shining here. And this. We have been reunited! Hi. We're off to go find some dinner. I walked the wrong way earlier, so I ended up going further away from Temple Bar. I ended up going towards the motorway. So this time around, we're going to Temple Bar. We have a choice of two restaurants that we've Googled. One's Mongolian, which I'm very excited for, because I've never had Mongolian cuisine. And it said they have vegetarian food. What's the other one? Uh, Mongo uh, one's Thai, no, Vietnamese. Oh, Thai yeah. Pa. Oh, Vietnamese. One's Mongolian and the other one is, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's just see. <laughs> <sighs> so Jess didn't like the look of the uh, Mongolian place because it was a buffet. I didn't mind it, but I didn't like the look of the Vietnamese place because it was nothing <laughs> And I don't mind it. <laughs> so now we found an Indonesian place that we're going to go and um, have a look at the menu for. <laughs> Thought we'd be third time lucky, but no, nope, this one's closed. There's like so many pubs here. They're all Irish pubs, obviously, but no restaurants. Hmm. Lucky, we're full time lucky, which is what passed this random Japanese place, and it had really good reviews. And we've got a whole vegan menu, so I'm really impressed. It looks really cool. It's also really busy in here, so it's always a good sign, but I'm very excited to eat and not on my own this time.
is like all of this. Where's the grill thing? Quite the back page. Where's the vegan menu? Oh, this! That's so cool. I'm actually going to get a grill because normally you can't get a grill like um, if you're a veggie. But this looks really good. Tofu steak. Yum! Full. We went to a place called Eat Tokyo or E Tokyo and now we're going to cross the bridge. Um, it's called Hey Penny Bridge. We had a little debate about this over dinner and I was right. <laughs> <laughs> around Trinity College in the dark. I don't know if you can walk all the way through but we've definitely been here before about what when did, when did we last come to Dublin? Like five or six years ago? Yep. How long ago was it? Well Yeah it's before I started YouTube so it was at least four or five years ago. Oh my god. It's really creepy though it's so dark. <laughs> you can't even see me. What have we learned today Jess? Always watch what I'm doing because I listen to me. Listen to me. No, <laughs> do not try and walk through to Trinity College because you'll be able to get through. <laughs> we just spotted a student who was like, my student card might let you out. <laughs> it was such a long walk. Basically, we, walk, we got stuck inside Trinity College and <laughs> don't want to turn back, did we? Because you can walk in and out the front gates, but you can't like walk all the way through, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying it to get was a such a long walk. Point it is stupid back, yeah. because like. The back of the college is literally where our hotel is, but we can't like cut through. We have to walk all the way around the college. And luckily, we spotted a, like a guy who just just asked, and he was like, "I'm a student here. Only students can get out the side entrances." <laughs> <laughs> it was like a maze. So if you go to Trinity College and try and look for a shortcut, don't do it. It won't work. Okay, we're back <laughs> in the hotel. That was the longest walk of life. Hey, that's my side of the bed. I'll just, be fine. I'll be fine. I'm not vlogging anymore. Wake up! <laughs> I can see your head like peeping out. Good. Anyway, okay, uh, we're back in the hotel. I'm gonna take my makeup off and probably not go to bed yet. I might start editing this vlog because I'm not really that tired. How are you still alive, Jess? You woke up at 3 a.m. like you've had no sleep like me except for I slept all morning. Yes. Um, as soon as I checked in from like, what, 8? 8.30 to 1. Anyway, um, I'm going to end this vlog here. So thank you so much for watching. Oh my eye. I will see you tomorrow for day 11. God, the days are going by so quickly. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.